Hi, this is Chris Foster, Senior Editor of Triathlete Magazine. We're here today to unbox two cool new things from Pac. Um, the first will be a pair of their sunglasses, the Aspire Solar Switch. And then the second will be their um, brand new Ventral Airspin NFC that got a lot of talk for some of the tech that's built into this helmet. So we'll start with the sunglasses. We'll go through these pretty quickly. Um, so the Aspire Solar Switch here, wow, awesome packaging. Like Pac always crushes packaging. This looks like an iPhone or something. Um, so super cool stuff. You, know, you can keep your goggles in there. I don't know, whatever. Um, got all that. So these are some like really modern looking sunglasses. Uh, they've definitely got the whole Euro thing going. Um, but more importantly in this, um, it's got this thing called Solar Switch which actually uh, acts kind of like transition lenses, but a little more high-tech version of that. Pac always has a lot of cool tech stuff in there, even their most simplest gear like sunglasses. So the idea being, of course, you know, you get into more sun and, it, um, and it'll uh, you know, darken the lenses, you get into less sun, it lightens them up. Um, you can see there's actually like these little solar things up in the front. Um, it probably has something to do with the technology here, so it's really cool. Um, definitely something I'm looking forward to checking out. Um, whether the style is mine or not. Um, so we'll set those aside, sunglasses, pretty cool. Okay. The other thing we're gonna look at, also not a lot to, to kind of go through here, but um, this new helmet for them is their um, upgraded version of their Ventral Air Spin um, that has an NFC, uh, NFC capabilities built in. Okay, so NFC is near field um, communication, which means that there's a little chip and you can actually see right there where the chip is built into the foam. Um, this will allow you to um, go into an app and put in all of your medical information or as much medical information as you feel comfortable putting in. Um, it'll be built into the chip. It doesn't require a battery, doesn't require any charging, anything like that. So if you're out on the road, you get in an accident, you know, ambulance comes to get you and you have maybe a, you know, a previously existing medical condition or, or something like that where, you know, you can't speak. The idea is this speaks for you. Um, now, this, this NFC medical ID thing is not absolutely um, carried in all ambulances. So that's kind of the first thing you need to think about before you look at buying this helmet. Um, the second thing that the kind of point that I'm thinking about is if you're putting all of your medical information into this uh, into this helmet, you leave the helmet around at Starbucks or whatever, um, anyone with an NFC reader, which is basically almost any smartphone that's out there right now, um, could quickly swipe your medical information. So you kind of want to be smart about what you put in there, you know, think about what a paramedic might need to know versus what someone shady might want to know. Um, just something to think about if you're looking at getting this helmet. Otherwise, crazy lightweight helmet. Um, Tons of uh, ventilation through here, uh, not MIPS in equipped or any other kind of concussion preventing thing. Um, but the NFC uh, tech is really, really cool. So we're going to try both these things out on the road, um, let you know how they go. We're going to go through the whole NFC process just so you can see it um, in another time. So that's all for today. I'm Chris Foster, and we'll see you next time.